or not dolls, um, Brooks Litter, who has been patiently waiting for their turn to come out and play. Come on, come on, puppies, come on, come on, come on. What have you got on you? You're all full of something. Come on, come on, come on, puppies, come on. Wake up, come on. Oh, it's, it's, I'm tired, I've been taking a nap. <laughs> Come on, come on puppies, come on. Stretchy, stretchy. Are you gonna go potty first? Good puppy. <laughs> wow, that was nice. Very sweet. Alex, what do you make? Well, it's pretty complicated. It creates a nice swirl. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not only complicated though, I think that uh, Antonio Carlos Bobin, who was Carlos Bobin, who wrote The Girl from the Nima, he would have liked that. Well, now that we know, it's The Girl from the Nima in the style. Brooks puppies now, here are also four weeks of age. Can we hear this and one more time? turning yeah. five weeks of age, I think it's tomorrow. Yeah. A little late in videotaping them this week. I've been awfully busy. <laughs> Next time I videotape, I'll have to remember to let these guys out first because while all the other two litters were out playing, these guys were playing in their pen, using up all their energy. They seem quite sedate. <laughs> yeah. They are a little bit quieter, calmer anyway, aren't they? Aren't you cute, huh? Oh, you scared me. have puppy mush on your nose too. I think we'll wipe that off. Your nose is all black. That's better. I like black noses and black puppies. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> so sweet. You just wanted to go on and on. <laughs> the Girl from Ipanema by Antonio Carlos Jobim, rewritten in the style the Beauty and the Beast section of the Mother Goose Suite by Maurice Ravel, and all of that done by Bruce Adolph this week in the Channel Puzzler. And Bruce, something that I just noticed the second time through, part of what Ravel does in the Beauty and the Beast is you hear these two different voices, the high, sweet voice of the yes. beast and the low, the voice huh? of the beast. And yes. you did that, you kept that in your puzzle. I kept it there. In fact, I, not only did I keep it when I could, but I kept his exact notes when possible. So for example... That's one type. This... That is the rebel. And so whenever I could actually use the exact same notes of rebel and get the girl from the Nima in there, I did. And I could and I just play with it a little bit. <laughs> Alex, how do you hear piano puzzler? Uh, most often through podcasts. Now, uh how -huh, the podcast that you find on the PC homepage for Phone Today, that's O R G. Alex Strong, a trombonist at uh, Indiana University, the Jacobs School of Music at IU in Bloomington, Indiana. Alex, thank you so much for playing our piano puzzler this week. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And Bruce, I'll see you next week. Bye, friend. <laughs> Bruce Adolph is on the air every week with Piano Puzzlers right here on PT. I'm Fred Giles, joined by Ravel. The very piece that Bruce was quoting, uh, Beauty and the Beast, from the Mother Goose Suite by Maurice Ravel. So uh, keep that sound of that Piano Puzzler in your mind's ear, because we'll come back to that in just a moment. Also on the way in a few minutes, we'll go to an amazing music venue in Geneva, Switzerland. It's a decommissioned hydro power plant right on the river in Geneva that's been converted into an art center. And stick around as well to hear what used to be an improvisation by Keith Jarrett, which has become now a kind of classical composition. That's on the way as well from DT. Uh, all of this coming to you with your help. Minnesota Public Radio is supported financially by the people who listen to it. The goal of this member drive support from 10,000 listeners you listen, you love this music. Can you be that next listener to give? Brian New Brian Newhouse is here with me with a great reason to donate right now. Yeah, there's there's lots of them, but here let's that's why we're hoping for donations from two thousand listeners today. We give early, you get rewarded. So for today only give ten dollars a month and get the first day special. Oh, it's a it's on me. Permit. Good for year round access to all of Minnesota's Girl. seventy-six beautiful state parks and rec areas. Plus, today only, an NPR member badge to affix to your backpack and show your fellow hikers you support public radio. This special is good for today only, and here's how you grab it. 
Visit us online at Minnesota Public Radio. Hey, who's chewing on me? Hey, you, you've got mush on your nose, too. It's not black. i got to wipe that off. Yep. I like black noses on black puppies, don't I? Another black nose restored to its original color. <laughs> Piano Puzzlers and all the great music that you hear 24-7 uh, on Classical Minnesota Public Radio. This music that you count on, that you depend on. You listen. It's time for you to become a member. And you can do that by uh, giving the monthly amount that's right for you. Whatever works for the amount you listen to. Ah, Pledge budget. Week on Public Radio. You monthly amount to Minnesota <laughs> Public Radio online right now. I am a member. Yes, I am. What would I do without Public Radio for my puppies, huh? All the beautiful music. Yeah, that like classical state music state makes them smart. Part of what you love about the state of Minnesota. Now, we've, in the past, we 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 love to offer a variety of gifts, uh, thank yous, but we found that your response is so much centered around exploring Minnesota. This state park permit by far the most popular. Puppy, puppy, I know. So here we go. You get to take pride in both Minnesota Public Radio and our beautiful state parks when you support NPR. Here's how it works. Here's the really, really easy. Ten dollars a month, give that amount, and get NPR's first day special. Do you have a little itch? State Parks permit. Give that itch a scratch. <laughs> Fifteen dollars a month, and now is the time, okay? The temperature out right now is two degrees. Mm -hmm. Scout style oh, it's going to get even colder tonight. It's the only day this drive you're going to be able to get. A little get bit of a warm up by the weekend. 752 folks have signed up for it so far today. 1,248 to meet today. Uh, 1,248 yet to go to meet today's goal. <laughs> so can you help us get there right now? 800-227-2811 is our phone number for Minnesota Public Radio. Are you guys tired, huh? Are you ready to go back in already? Today only. Uh, you might have heard this before if you listen to Public Radio, but this is worth repeating. Listener donations are Minnesota Public Radio's largest source of income. That's how we are here, day after day, using your contributions from individual folks. <laughs> 